Shout out to uh, K, the whole Ice Water, and everybody. I, I believe K, the one who actually gave this track to uh, Raekwon. So. Most definitely shout out to K. You know what? This is right after, uh, uh, what was this? The Cuban Link 2 tour. Yeah. This is when I gave him that CD. And th this is how it really came out. You know what I mean? I remember that night I met Yellow Wolf. And I think that was the night this dude just jumped in the crowd. I never even had heard of this dude before. And I remember we was backstage and Ray was just giving him some, some jewels on, on the game and whatnot, you know. It was just like something to really remember because, like, I remember like two months after that, Yellow Wolf got signed to uh, Interscope and Shady, after Shady over there with Eminem. It was just like, wow, I was right there. And the crazy thing is, this beat was on the CD that I gave Yellow Wolf. Real talk, I gave it to uh, his uh, manager, and they were standing right there as we was talking outside his outside of his truck. And um, you know, I'm just telling you, you know, you did a real good job. You know, what I mean, I like how you do. You know what I mean? Check out my music or whatever, you know? He was just like real cool, you know? Whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, that's how this, that's how it all really happened. So, check me out. What to do productions. About to show y'all how I created disposable guns for Raekwon the Chef. It was actually supposed to go to another artist, but I guess when he heard it, he just heard something in it and... Last thing I know, people called me, was like, yo, you heard that new track? And I was like, what track? I checked the net, and it's crazy. So, yeah. Um, so, basically, what I started off with is uh, some strings. I love, like I said, I love live instruments, guitars, strings, pianos, anything live. Uh, so, I got the word that someone was looking for a track, and I just thought about it, you know. It was a New York artist or whatnot, so... And I was thinking to myself, like, it's going to have to be hip-hop. It's going to have to be something with the drums going to knock. Maybe a little groove to it. Still make it a little gutter. I'm just coming up with all these ideas. And um, so by, by the time I got to, to the studio, I, I came up with, I was messing with some strings. And I, you know, I came up with this. I'm messing around, you know. That's pretty much how I kind of like started it off, and that's what I built the whole beat around was those strings right there, and I pulled some different strings, and I did the same thing. You know what I mean? And I, I did that, and, and then once you put those two sounds together... That's the intro one, and I just... And that's basically what you hear. But then, I got these big strings that sound like they about to just come and get you or something. And I did something like... like that's all I did. Just gave it to them one time. And once I did, I added that. That's pretty much it, you know what I mean? And I added this clap and the kicks and all that, you know what I mean? Shout out to Kanye West. I bit some drums from Kanye West. Uh, downloaded some little kit I had got off the net. And uh, these are the actual drums. Those are the actual drums I used on this program for Reason 5 for this track. Is I used some Kanye West drums. So yeah, shout out to, uh, I believe that's P5 Audio. I downloaded those tracks from, those that drum kit from. And I always liked Kanye West's drums. So when... But one of the things I like to do is try to have the biggest drums on this also. So that's what I wanted to do. So I had that clap and 
You know what I mean? Then the kick. And I had an 808 in it. Where's that 808? There you go. Crazy 808. It just make the whole track just knock. Then I use some other type of violins. Nah, man. So that's basically what you hear in the beginning when it's going. <clears throat> That's pretty much what I did for that right there. And, you know, I put a put an open hi hat on it and some other things with the hi hat. Crash on it, you feel me? There's some toms. Then last but not least, you know, of course the bass line. And I did the bass line the same as the string just to reinforce that whole sound of that. Yeah. Real quick and and that's basically how I pretty much made the song to be honest. And that was that's all I really did with it. And that, that Kanye kick right there. That kick sounds so crazy in the studio. Oh my goodness. Once I heard that, I always I wanted to keep using that kick and keep using that kick. So I still do use it at times, but I may mesh it with another kick that I may use just to give it a whole lot of undertone and body just to make it really hit. You know what I mean? So when you add that final compression on the mix, it's going to sound just big and crazy and knocking. And that's what I, way I like to have my drums just really knocking. Whether it's on some, some R&B or hip-hop or whatever, my drums are always going to have a, a certain kind of thump and knock to it. So... That's just what I like to do. Uh, so anyway, you know, so like I said, I added all those sounds and this how you have the track. Let me turn it up for y'all. Everybody kicking in the link house. On 80 acres, take us. Top his eyes, awake his makeup. You just bitches. Even the water niggas and bitches. 25 summers ago, from niggas look suspicious. Y'all doing to the phone, bone wally. But elevators in the room, walk in, you getting no doubt. Crap table got cracked. All the niggas look good with the capsules. And clothes on the signs. They ain't walk, and my niggas litigate. I hate to go up and see child Chinese. They think it's Jamaican. Bobby speak, man, really fucking blatant. I'm sitting in this hell waiting for 12 Thanks for quick Ah, something like that When there's a lay on the street You better keep your heat on you Shout out to the homie Trouble Man on the track too On that hook He really killed that Man, when I heard this track Straight banger Shout out to Who Kid DJ Who Kid He put the track out And uh, definitely shout out to Who Kid over there And Ray Kwanishef You know, Don P2 Uh the whole, uh, you know, what's that, rap, rap.net, or what's this, rap, Radio Planet TV? Uh, so, yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to uh, everyone who supported that track and who really heard a big, I want to say, not quite the beginning, but the start of something that was just about to be really, really crazy. As you see, that track there was done in. What, 2000, uh, that was 2009 when I did the battle for, uh, 
I stand a producer. Shout out to them. Also, uh, Justice League was there. Ill Mind and uh, the business was there. Um, I came in the top three in that one and uh, got a really lot of great feedback. Ended up getting an interview with our standard producers. Once I had dropped this track, maybe about a month ago, I gave this track to uh, Raekwon the Chef. And next thing I know, he's putting on his next mixtape. So that 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 battle really gave me that 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 feeling of letting me know, that, you know what, maybe I can really do this. A lot of people was feeling my music, even people who wasn't made even there for a battle, you know. So I think it was pretty decent. It was just a pretty decent one here, and it's simple. You know, I didn't add a whole lot of stuff to it. You know, just a couple little sounds, and left it at that. So you know, there you have it. What to do productions? Um, let's see, we get that final song. And, you know, once Raekwon the Chef heard it. He ended up calling disposable guns. I think I named it like something totally different. But you know, of course, you know, the name always changes once you give it to the artist anyway. But this is how it ended up sounding.